Ooh. No reflection? Oh. think we've stumbled on a squabble I'm pretty sure that the lack of reflection is more an engine limitation than actually a vampire thing hello well that's really creepy the shining meets lemony snickets and a heart-shaped bed that looks like a strawberry with all of the polka dots on it. I don't know if it's just me, but the normal artwork in here makes it even more creepy. Hmm. Girls Rock. I think that maybe we can hack Jeanette's laptop here. don't have enough hacking skill yet. We could up our hacking. We are one point below what's required. We do want some more hacking at some point. We have five experience. I would rather raise wits than computer, but we are three experience away from doing that. I think over the course of this, we're going to get enough experience that we won't mind raising hacking, but I'm going to hold off for now. Hello, Therese. Please don't mind me. Guess we can't go after her computer with her standing here. Alrighty, then. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Well, I mean, if you say so. So I think that we need to suck up to both of them individually. So we're going to play like we're really into Therese here. I'm just glad that she's gone. Are you Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Well... I need you to call off the feud with Bertram. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. So is that like germophobia or are you racist, clanist, whatever the term is? Uh, I guess it is a phobia. But we're not going to, to say that. That seems a little crass. Especially when we're trying to get on her good side. Why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Alright, well... You want me to find him and kill him for you, then? I'm not sure the Camarilla would find that an acceptable method of dealing with one's rival. And right now, I very much need their approval to become officially recognized as the legitimate administrator of this city. Well, finding him is in the interest of the Camarilla. Not the killing, of course, but... Can't you just put the word out that you've got no feud with him? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. 
Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Well, that is unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Is there anything you can do? Tung and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tung have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. A spirit? Do you mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. All right, then. Well, I mean, I knew that mummies were real. I've got one. So does everyone else, for that matter. So what do I have to do to get rid of the ghost? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. All right, and if I do that, then you'll promise to call off the feud, right? Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Well, I mean, I do like sour, but I guess sweet will do for now. I could respect that. Goodbye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Oh, well, that's good to know. If it's what takes if it's what it takes to get the job done, I guess we're going into the sewers then. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Um, could you answer a few questions first, though? Uh you already told us why you hate Bertram. Uh, tell me about your dear sister. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five and dime. Well, that's a little, um... insulting. All right, um... Is there anything else you could tell me about? All right, never mind. Guess we know everything. Um, goodbye. All righty, let's get out of here before she changes her mind, eh? Wait for the door to close. Ooh, yep, yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to try to draw a weapon there. Just fat fingers. So actually, there's a couple of things that we can do before we even go into the sewers. So we can go try to deal with the Asian vampire. Uh, look at his license, see who that is. Uh, we can go claim our reward from Vandal. Let's see. Virgil Crumb. Wonder if he has a record. He's got kind of a grimace on the photo. All right. If he has a record, we can find him at Kilpatrick's. So let's go there first since we are on this side. We are living in the last days of Uh-huh. Gehenna, Ragnarok, the apocalypse. Pick your end time myth. And as much as I do like this, it is a little annoying when we're trying to do computer reading. All right, so Crumb, was it? Let's see, yep, he is in here. All right, so Bond written two years ago, over two years ago, I think. Public disturbance, drunken nudity. Uh. Notes void. Subjects corpse identified being held at medical clinic morgue. Authorities notifying next of kin. 
So did he die two years ago? What's the deal with that? Discovered that Virgil Crumb identified... Oh, it must be recent. So he's in the morgue now. Oh, okay. We can deal with that. We need to go down and get our reward from Vandal anyway. That smiling, grinning psychopath. See what we get for sending him the little missy. Hopefully it wasn't too awfully traumatic for her. Oh, get, like, get inanimate objects. Sweet hey there. Sweet girl you sent up made the other one seem like sour milk. Real bleeder, lovely thing. Least she used to be. But she'll live on in your heart, won't she? Need a bag of her? You killed her? Okay, I guess the only reason that Lily was alive then was that she was a vampire. But we got our experience, so I suppose it was worth it. Um, no, I'm not buying blood from you. Keep grinning like an idiot. You'll get yours one day. Let's see, the morgue. That was, yes, through here. And I suppose this is his body? Is there any reason for us to get in here? Nobody in there. These are a little hard to interact with. Ooh. Okay, the bottom ones are locked. I think his stuff's in here, so I suppose there's no reason to get into the freezers. All right, got a silver ring. Looks like an engagement ring for a girl who's a single day's ATM limit special. Okay. Foxy boxes key. Okay. Not much to say about it. Interesting. So now we know where the Asian vampire got the license. It was from him. Probably killed him to get it. Maybe it's set up in foxy boxes. Don't think we hacked the computer the last time we were in here. Davers, please. Cowbell. Always need more. Uh, Crumb, is there any information we can get in here? Died from heart failure. Personal items in storage B. Which I guess is the case. Or the chest thing. Alright. Don't think we need any of these other informations. Jane Doe, though, is that the girl that Vandal killed? Yep. Body contained only one pint of blood. Foul play suspected. That son of a bitch. Though I guess we are just as guilty for sending her to her death. Oh well. Such is undeath. Physics, let me through the door. Damn it. Can I? Get over there. All right, we can get through now. Or can we? Yes. All right. I don't think we have to come back in here, though maybe we do. And if we do, hopefully that will stay out of the way. Would like to come back and kill Vandal at some point, if he would ever come out of there. Or if we got some sort of explosives to get through. I think Foxy Boxes is back on the other street where we just were. Megahertz computers in the back alley here. 
Ah oh, yes, there is Foxy Boxes. Okay, I think we're getting ready to go into a combat situation. So let's hit a quick save. I'm not for sure that we can even take this guy with our stats as they are. I really don't want to, to spin this to raise our melee combat yet. Uh, I think we're just going to use our disciplines and hope it's enough. We'll give it a try and if we're just not strong enough yet, then we'll come back to this a bit later. Okay, coffee and then storage. Nothing else really interesting in here. What is that? Can we? Alcohol. Oh, there's a laptop. It's a clock that was blocking it. Okay. Can we hack you? Oh, no need to even hack. Uh, Mr. Asian Vampire, who I'm assuming this belongs to, maybe not, is not very security conscious. All right. My initial observations of the city indicate that the canines here are both scattered and un unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. I imagine he's talking about Bertram and then the sisters. All right. So we are in October of 2004 or maybe November. Judging by these dates. These canines are a curious and fragile race. They waste the gift of their immortality on petty schemings and fleshly gain. We will have little problem making this city our own. So they're planning an invasion. Or a takeover. Supposedly hostile, judging by the tone. It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the canines. A Nosferatu, I believe they're called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I have begun to follow this so-called spy, a small amusing respite from my usual duties. So that's why Knox was seeing him out of the corner of his eye around. He was being followed. He was not careful enough or not skillful enough. I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the Prince, who has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. Moi? Little old me? So he's been following us too because we just discovered Virgil Crumb. I know very little about this individual, but they seem to be more resourceful than most canites I have observed. I shall prepare myself in the event that our paths cross because an altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. We'll find little resistance if we come in force. Well, thank you for the compliment. I don't know that I'm that much more resourceful, but still, at least you're not underestimating me. Could make this all the more difficult. Okay, so that's the way we came in. I believe we stepped through this door and hit a combat. So we are going to attempt to fight. Got our knife out. Um, also, there's a plus patch thing I'm going to try out. Auto renew disciplines. So let's try that so that we don't have to keep uh, re-upping them. And then I am going to, let's see, bring up our hotkeys, make sure I remember. Uh, I think I want to switch blood heal and presence. That way I can just go three, four, five, six, get everything going. All right. We are on celerity already. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. Oh, indeed, there he is. Get this going. Five, six. Oh, 
I guess he's not as tough as I thought. Either that or all these disciplines are making rapidly short work of him. Just get him pinned in the corner. Don't let him get away. He jumps and leaps like a fool. Excellent. All right, so sorry about the jump cut there. Uh, I did not remember at the time that um, I've got my record button set as F8. That's also the end disciplines button, so I inadvertently stopped the recording. So I picked up from the Asian vampire a pyro crossbow, if I can get to it. There it is. We're not going to be using it, I suspect, unless we need to do some ranged combat because our feet adjustment's pretty bad, but it is cool and nice to have. Um, we're on our way back to Knox to see if we can turn this quest in and see uh, maybe if there's anything else going on need to put our knife away. We also need some blood, so we're going to go ahead and visit our gentleman over here. Maybe I should change what uh, end disciplines is, or, well, I'll, I'll deal with that off camera, I suppose. Hey there, big boy. Uh, <clears throat> what time is it? It's that time again. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? You just can't get enough of me. I know. It's very understandable. And oh, you are so delicious. Especially since we sent the blood doll that's usable to us in Asylum to her death. So there are consequences to everything. Oh, that's right. Asylum's on the other side. Well, we came over here to get blood. We needed blood. Being low raises the chances for us to frenzy, so it's a good thing that we did that. But we do want to see if we can get some more rewards from our little loudmouth ghoul. Round and round we go. I was hoping maybe the blood dog got replaced, but we can't talk to either of these. Hey there, buddy. You know it. You don't have to worry about him anymore. You should get rid of this. I mean, thanks for the experience. We like that. Do you have any idea what that thing was? Bertram said it's like a vampire. It's different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He's supposed to be coming to California for some reason. I don't know. They're trying to stage an invasion. Um, but I'll leave you to it. Okay, so what are we looking like experience-wise? Up to 10. Cool. Very cool. Do we want any more persuasion? I think the need for persuasion is for for this quest that we're on, but I may be misremembering mis and I would like to have it higher for later things anyway. Also, it wouldn't hurt to just raise our scholarship. That will improve our research too for skill books. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll save our other experience for some other bumps. Probably start bumping stealth next because getting through the warehouse to plant the explosives is very, very difficult without stealth from what I remember. Though we are a pretty good fighter, it just takes a fuck ton of blood apparently for us to be a good melee machine. All right, let's check our thing here one more time. I guess it is just into the sewers now. And on to, actually, from my memory, one of the best haunted houses in any game ever. 
And I think we can go into a sewer over here and it's fairly close to where we need to be to get to this house. Let's see if that's correct. Gate. May have to find. There are maps down here, and I may have to look at one of those. Could be just dead wrong about where we need to go. Can we not? I thought we could look at you. Map. Are you not an interactable? Rut row, Rorge. Alright, let's try this map down here. Maybe it's interactable. Okay, so this is a different map. Gotcha. Alrighty. You are here. I see that. Oxy boxes. So it's... Oh, it's not on the legend at all. Sitting there looking at the numbered markers over there. It's just written to the Ocean House Hotel. So it should have been right where we came down. Didn't we go down right beside Kilpatrick's? It's access A. Oh, no. Back out, please. Let's go back and see. So that's D. C. Oh, there it is. Cool. So my memory was good just to the point of actually making things more difficult for us. Great. Can I... There we go. Creepy music starting already. It's a huge hotel. Don't get stuck in the sand trap. What have we here? Ooh, a key? Cool. What's that? Are we locked in? Oops. Door. Oh. We just got rammed by a Hellcat. And sliding into the sand trap again. Alright, the ghosts don't want us in there. Let's see if there's any... No, can't interact with the computer. Alright, so I suspect we could have lockpicked our way in too. I think you can do that. Just checking things out. Okay. Listen up, ghosties. This is not the time. We are not here to harm you. We are here to help you. Oh. Do you see that? Uh huh. Is that a bicycle bell? Oh. I think something hit us. Elevator looks out of order. Oh. Yeah, I think things are flying off the wall and hitting us. We're definitely taking some damage. Can't get in here. Oh! Woo! Freddy Krueger coming out of the shadows. I uh, think I'm going to be saving rather frequently. Pretty sure you can absolutely die in here. Oh, oh, yeah. Pictures. You gonna attack me? Ooh. 
that elevator's not got doors off of their slides, but doesn't seem accessible. Whatever flew off the wall that time didn't hit us. It's a fancy vase. Unboarded up. So we have to go up the stairs. I'm pretty sure that whichever side you go up, it caves in and falls. It's just the way it's supposed to. You gonna fall too, chandelier? Oh! I really wish that you would stop um, hurting us. Get blood heal up there. We're gonna need to heal at some point in here if we keep taking damage like this. Though we do have a pretty good regen rate. I wonder if I can... Oh, nope. Trying to jump and not fall down. All right, so to work our way out of the basement. We're... Oh. Oh, the hidden passageway, eh? Elevator. Oh, lockpicky. Cool. Fell difficulty eight. Four. We'd have to put two points into lock picking and then blood buff, uh, which ain't going to happen. Not with four experience. Okay, can't lock pick that one. Ooh. First floor, second floor, third floor, elevator, basement. So these are circuit breakers we can't interact with. 